Rachel has long been intrigued by the art of flower pressing. I always thought there was some kind of mystery to it, but actually Peggy has shown me that it can be done very, very simply. Now from the very beginning, what she uses is just flowers that have just not too many petals, otherwise it just becomes too bulky. And the first step of it is to actually get rid of the stem as close to the bloom as possible so that the petals don't start to fall off. But even if one did, that would be okay because we can deal with imperfection here. Peggy's flower press is an ordinary household item, a common phone book. The phone book is such a perfect thing to work with is that the paper is completely absorbent, so it really does help just take away all those juices of the flower and dry it out brilliantly. And of course the weight of the phone book, even though it's not enough weight in itself, you do have to add to it once the book is closed, you need to add a brick or tons of other books so that you really do have that weight, because that's really what's about having a successfully pressed flower. Arranging the flowers correctly helps the pressing to be successful. You begin with putting your little flower face down and try and spread them out just a little bit just so that they have places to breathe. Put all the bulky ones on one page. If they're kind of thin, put them all on one page just so you have uniformity. And then you close your book. The results are extraordinary. I'm going to turn to a page here where we can see the wonderment of a foam book pressed flower. And just the way this looks, I mean, to my eye, if we did nothing more with these flowers other than just sprinkle them on a table or on a bed for a guest, they're just beautiful. Rachel finds that making flower candles is just as simple a process as pressing the blossoms. Is the actual application of the flowers to the candle something that we can learn how to do? What, what, what tools do you actually need for that? You need the glue and you need a paintbrush. Okay, so that's, that's easy. It. That's it. That's it? And then some kind of glaze goes over the top, yeah? Well, that's what the glue does. This, oh, is, this really? is a glue that goes under and over. Oh, how perfect. So it's just, it's just a little bit of glue, covers the flower. Wow. And that's it. So flower, foam book, a brush, and glue. Rachel's favorite is Peggy's test candle. Talk to me about this candle, because I absolutely love that candle. This is my trial and error. This is what works uh -huh. and what doesn't work. In regards to the longevity? The, of the longevity okay. of the candles, even uh -huh. if they're not perfumed. Uh -huh. Not everything works on candles. So what, what length of a test do you give it to see whether you think it passes the mark or not? Oh, I would hope a year of, oh, good, really? of good color. On stationery, tweezers are used to hold the flowers in place while glue is applied. Colors hold up better on paper, so longevity is not as much of a concern. The smooth surface of the paper works best with thinly pressed flowers, yet others can be adapted as well. Assuming that the, the flatter the petals on a flower, the easier to work with. Yes. Um, roses and bigger bulk are probably not, not good to work with, correct? I use the roses called singles. They have fewer petals. Okay. But I also cut the whole bud in half okay. and apply that. Peggy combines pressed flowers with bits of ornamental Victorian paper to create a unique display. We call them um, Victorian collages. Okay. And I do collect the Victorian scrap, which is the, the small pieces here. Okay. Those are from the 1890s. The so, frames are yeah. old and everything is on silk. While working out her designs, the fragile flowers are kept in place under glass. Once she is satisfied, Peggy secures every flower with glue. Well, I think I've learned really how simple it is. It is simple. Yeah, it is simple. Just you need the patience. Mm -hmm. For those who love flower gardens, like Rachel, it's nice to see how the beautiful handiwork of Peggy Perez provides another lasting benefit. The very fact that now we've learned that these flowers can be pressed and just landed up on a candle or on stationery, it's just so lovely. Now when you come back here, you realize that these flowers really are going to last forever.